Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Loving Leah. I am talking about a movie, Halloween Kills. Mm. And, okay, you've seen the other Halloweens, haven't you? I have. So have I. So I want to know, after seeing Halloween Kills, Michael is immortal. They, They shoot him, they stab him a bunch of times, but yet he still gets up and kills about 10 people within a minute. Right. Explain that to me. What's going on? I don't feel like, I feel like it's kind of getting, it's kind of going off track. It's not the same Halloween I knew from back in the day. It's kind of like phony. So what do you, do you think he's immortal? So the director uh, has explained that Michael Myers is not immortal. It's just that his hatred and anger for, his family and for his sister, the one he's always trying to go after, his anger is so intense that it nullifies him feeling pain. So what stops someone from, let's say, engaging someone if they're like shot or set on fire or burnt is pain. So if you can't feel pain, you'll say, okay, I'm stabbed. But if you really want to go after someone, you're going to keep going, especially if that pain is nullified. That's the official, unofficial explanation as to why uh, Michael Myers is able to take a beating and keep on taking. Yeah, but do you think that it's getting too far-fetched, though? That's, I mean, like I was talking to my friend earlier about it, and they were saying... But in actuality, he's still human. Yes, we we feel we get numb mm-hmm. to certain points, but in actuality, he's still human. Right. So don't you, in your own opinion, do you think that that's a bit far-fetched? If someone can not feel pain and they're not maimed, there's been different re- reboots and revivals. So... So far, it's like only like three movies that are currently canon. So in, in those like two, three, maybe even four movies that are canon, I do think it's possible if if you hate something enough and you want to go after it enough that you can have an adrenaline rush to where not only can you not feel pain, but you get a boost of energy to be able to uh, move very quickly like Michael Myers does and be able to uh, engage targets. If you notice in the movies, like they're setting him on fire, they're shooting him, they're stabbing him, but no one's just decapitating him. They're not doing anything that really just stops his movement. That's true. You're right. I, I noticed. I just, I just, I, I think my myself, I enjoy the ones back in the day because it was more, I feel like it was more realistic. You can see somebody actually maybe doing that. But I feel like, to be honest, I'm glad that next year is the last one called <laughs> Halloween Ends. Right. Because I think it should just, I think it should be where they, instead of doing a lot of stabbing and shooting, they should just cut his head off. So yeah. you know he's never coming back. Yeah. So I just feel that some of these movies, I just think that, how can I put this? It's okay for there to be movies, you know, for them to be a sequel. But when you start having sequels that are like far-fetched, it just kind of makes you think like, you know, damn well, this will never happen in in person. That's that's just never going to happen. Right. So, yeah. Michael Myers is just like Jason Voorhees in a way. They both wear a mask. They don't really say anything. Whereas Jason <laughs> Voorhees, it's clear that he's supernatural. It's clear. Whereas with Michael Myers, it's unknown things with him. What I like about Michael Myers over the other supernatural villains is that he actually has a believable backstory of him being a small child and him having an infatuation with his older sister. The infatuation grows and grows and grows until she babysits him one night and then has her boyfriend over while they're having relations. He gets jealous and he picks up a knife and a knife is an extension of his member. And as he's stabbing her, it's almost as if he's entering inside of her. A weapon in his hands with his mind being twisted and him having mental issues is equivalent to him having relations with people that's the reason why he's going after his sister so heavily the younger one trying to use a weapon to insert himself in her because in his dark and twisted thinking he's performing incest what is the deal with 
him not liking Jamie Lee Curtis, the other sister? Why are they always, why does he not like her? It's not that he doesn't like her. It's just that with his mental issues, he's somewhat believing that he's engaging in relations with her by trying to take out her life. This guy was in a mental institution for a long time. And he was there because of the killings that he did. In addition to that, he has a warped sense of thinking. It was made clear off screen that he has a warped sense of thinking. So to him, him taking the life of someone is like, if I can't have you, no one can. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So, and then you mentioned Jason. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, Jason had issues with his mother. Yeah. So he he took his pain out on other people because his mom treated him bad. With Jason's mom, I mean, her in the first one dressing up as Jason to go take people out. And then at the end of the movie, uh, when she dies, Jason comes out of the water to grab the person on the boat. I mean, it's clear that Jason's supernatural. I could kind of see someone being psycho enough to where they just keep coming after you and coming after you to take out your lives. And plus with Michael Myers in, in the Halloween movies, if you notice, he actually walks past people in certain situations and doesn't really just go on a mass killing spree. He's discriminant as far as who he goes after, as far as a target. When I've seen Halloween Kills, spoiler. Okay, spoiler alert, spoiler he, alert. Okay, in this, in this one, okay, they had some of the originals back in the, from the 70s. Okay. They came back. So what the reason why, <clears throat> excuse me, he went on a rampage, I feel, this time he went on a rampage because he was trying to find his sister, whom is played by Jamie Lee Curtis, mm. whom was in the hospital from the last one. Okay. So he went on a rampage just killing everybody. Okay. And the ones that were in the originals that are older now, he he killed a few of them, but, but he was trying, like I said, he was trying to find Jamie Lee Curtis, and he... I don't know what it is. I will never understand why he just dislikes her so much. So he did go on a rampage because if you remember the one before this, Jamie Lee Curtis and her, her two daughters thought, <clears throat> excuse me, thought they killed him. Right. But he escaped. Mm -hmm. So he went on a rampage. And then I guess like the childhood home he grew up in, people actually lived there and they remodeled it. Mm, but it okay. was so weird because when he came to the door, it's almost like they welcomed him like, Jason, you're back home. But mm. he still killed them. He he didn't care. It's like he went on a rampage trying to find Jamie Lee Curtis at the hospital. Mm. And then at the end, like I was saying before, when they shot him four or five times and stabbed him multiple times, he literally got back up and stabbed and killed 10 people <laughs> all in just like a matter of seconds. And it was just kind of like, this man is immortal. Like to me, I feel like you say Jason is super natural. Yeah. I think Jason, he, he couldn't stand his mom, but Jason is just more, I feel like people have actually killed Jason and he's came back, it, he's came back in other ways. Michael Myers, you kill him and he's, it doesn't matter, he's he's coming back. Okay. So I, the spoiler to that one is with Halloween Kills, I really liked it because you have um, people that were in it back in the 70s and 80s Mm -hmm. that are adults now trying to kill him mm, that's okay. that's that's what i like um what is um paris hilton's aunt that's in the real housewives of beverly hills i mean not beverly hills yeah beverly hills i'm sorry she's in the new one okay. whereas they they go back to where she was in the one in the um 70s or 80s as a little girl with mm -hmm. jamie lee curtis and she's in this one now Mm. So you see and you're like, oh, wow, I remember them from this one. That's great that they're having, they're here. So I just, I, to me, Halloween Kills is just like any of the other Halloween ones. Okay. There's really not a lot of big spoilers, except 
I feel like he's immortal. And I feel like the only way to really kill Michael Myers is to cut his head off. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for the collaboration. And I look we forward to doing do more in the future. We gotta do another one when more movies come out. Yeah. So, yeah. See you the next time. Bye, CK. All right, bye. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Please join my channel membership. I teach multiple opportunities, reinvest earnings, which is more. The more movement allows proponents to grow generational wealth and improve financial health. If you want to learn more and join the movement, upgrade your screen learning and join the elite tiers with a higher learning membership. The commendable class is my version of a master class Follow me on all social media. Check the about section for all my social media handles and become a sponsor on Patreon.